Disclaimer. Copyright Disclaimer Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Non-profit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Before I start, I'm saying something quickly. This is not a professional review, more like my thoughts. Now, one of the videos of me reviewing an album got blocked for a copyright claim. I had to find a solution and upload it later, now again with another video. Hello, and again with album reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing an album I've been listening to it for the last two days, it's Trilogy by Emerson, Lake Palmer, so as I listened to Tarkus, I searched for more similar to it, and get this one, also in ranking videos, so I decided to give it a try. Into the subject, Trilogy is the third studio album by English progressive rock band Emerson, Lake Palmer released in July 1972, by Island Records. The group had spent most of 1971 touring, which paused in September so they could record a new album at Advision Studios with Eddie Offord resuming his role as an engineer. It's a collection of nine tracks, starting from, 1 The Endless Enigma Part 1 2 The Fugue 3 The Endless Enigma Part 2 4 From The Beginning 5 The Share 6 Hoedown 7 Trilogy 8 Living Sin 9 The Badens Bolero Now, my favorite tracks are, 1 The Endless Enigma Part 1, It Has A Good Start, I Like The Zerna At The Beginning And Then Going To The Synthesizer 2 The Sheriff the lyrics for some reason reminds me of Eric Clapton's song I Shot the Sheriff, but I still love it, I kept with the lyrics and music at the same time. 3 Abaddon's Bolero, the piece was originally titled Bologna's Bolero after the Goddess of War. A single melody containing multiple modulations within itself is repeated over and over in ever more thickly layered arrangements. Starting from a quiet Hammond organ making a flute-like sound over a snare drum, and building up to a wall of sound for the finale, I rate this album 4.7 out of 5 stars, listening to this album was and still is a great experience, starting from the Endless Enigma Part 1, to Abaddon's Bolero definitely one of the best progressive rock. Later, I will be reviewing Tarkus, for now. I'll try not to get copyright striked again, enjoy some of the clips from my favorite tracks.